Are you ready to take the first step to embrace the unknown and step out of your comfort zone? Welcome to Step Out, Step In, the podcast that inspires you to break free from your familiar to explore the extraordinary. Hello, this is your host, David Hill. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, join me as we dive headfirst into thrilling stories of personal growth, daring adventures, and transformative experiences. Get ready to be motivated, inspired, and empowered to live your life to the fullest. So mark your calendar, set your alarm, and get ready to step out, step in with me every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss out on the adventure of a lifetime. Subscribe now and let's step into the unknown together. This is Step Out, Step In. The journey begins here. Step Out, Step In podcast, live on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe today. Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you're watching from or where you might be watching the replay from. I'm so excited to come your way again. That's Monday, March 18, 2024, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to host the Step Out, Step In podcast. <laughs> um, I'm so excited. Um, and, and again, thank you so much for allowing me into your homes, wherever you're watching from. And we're going to dive into uh, this topic that resonates with us all. Uh, we started the, uh, the first part last week, and we're going to continue with this. And this is the podcast that challenges you to break free from the familiar, to embrace the uh, Unknown. Step out, step in is the podcast that helps you to navigate life and make the most of your time. And again, I'm your host, David Jill, and today we're diving into the topic that's both universal and deeply personal called pain. <laughs> you know, that is one of the things that we all go through, whether we like it or not. And um, can you do can you do me a quick favor if you can share the link, the YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, with a friend, the loved one, or friend of me? <laughs> um, just share the link, and um, let's let's do this together if you can. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page, please do so. Like me on Facebook and LinkedIn, and um, share comment. No, nice comments though. <laughs> All right, so as I said earlier, I started the first part of this, and um, and tonight I'll be talking about. This is episode sixty-one. I'll be talking about embracing embracing pain and navigating life's inevitable traps. And um, just a recap of last week's. Um, I just want to do a quick recap of um, last week what we started off with and um, you know we started off by defining pain and I said pain is more than just a sensation it is emotional and psychological response to adversity and I also say that Pain signals that something is wrong, prompting us to take action or seek help. Pain is also a teacher providing valuable lessons that shape our growth and resilience. And again, pain can take many forms, physical, emotional, psychological, or even existential. And that is pain. And as we went through, uh, I talked about the, uh, um, that the, uh, talk about the inevitability of pain. And you can get all this um, on my YouTube page. Um, so when you sign on there, you can please go in and um, go through it. I also talked about 
navigating through pain. And in navigating through pain, I shared a quote from uh, Victor uh, Frankel. Um, Victor Frankel is, uh, was an Austrian psychiatrist, a psychotherapist, and a Holocaust survivor. And he said, in some ways, suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment it finds a meaning. That means that when you go through pain and you find a meaning in that pain, it no longer becomes something that uh, uh, really affects you negatively. In, you know, in anything, there's, there's, a, there's a positive side to it. And uh, also, um, we talked about the, uh, the third was finding meaning in pain. Finding meaning in pain. So just grab your, um, uh, we, we want to dive into today's topics, um, embracing pain, navigating life's inevitable trials. So now you can grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's dive into this together. You know, mine is water, because <laughs> I'm not advertising for anyone. <laughs> so I got my water. So you can grab your favorite beverage um, and let's get into this together. So our episode 61 is embracing pain and navigating life's inevitable trials. You know, from, from the moment you and I were born, pain became an inherent part of our existence. So once somebody is born, pain becomes an inherent part of their existence. But the question again is, how do we navigate through pain? How do we navigate through it? And how can we find meaning in the midst of pain and suffering? And I said this week, uh, we'll dive into it and uh, look, look at a few scriptures that will support uh, this topic. You know, as a person of faith, um, I just want to support it with scripture so we can know the direction to which we go. So join me as we explain these questions and more. So number one is the reality of pain. The reality of pain. You know, pain is, it is an experience we all share. And everybody goes through some form of some shape of pain. And yet it is something we often try to avoid or suppress. But the truth is, pain is inevitable, whether you like it or not. You go through some form of pain, either emotional pain, psychological pain, physical pain, spiritual pain, integral pain. It is, it is part of us. You cannot do away with it. As we journey through life, it is part of the journey through life. Pain is inevitable. But just as I said, most of the time, we want to either suppress it or we want to avoid it. <laughs> but it's something that whether we like it or not, we'll face it at some given time in our lives. So as much as we try to shield ourselves from it, pain has a way of finding us. He knows where to find you. <laughs> Sometimes he comes in on an out. Sometimes after one is leaving, there's another one behind the door knocking. Sometimes they, they don't even announce themselves. They just pop in and open the door. They get in and get to you. So let's look at a scripture in, in the Bible that really tells us about uh pain in john chapter 16 and verse 33 jesus says something here he says these things i have spoken to you that in me you may have peace so in christ you and i may have peace and he says in the world you will have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world so in other words, Jesus is telling us that whether we like it or not, in this world, the word will is definite. 
the word will it, it tells us that it will surely come you know in Isaiah 43 it tells us about when you go through the waters he says when the word when is only a matter of time so in in, in the gospel of John and Jesus himself acknowledged the inevitability of pain and suffering in this world he doesn't promise a life free from hardship but rather he offers his peace in the midst of it he says be of good cheer i have overcome the world so you and i can fully depend on him we can fully trust him we can fully uh, um go to him because he is an overcomer he has already overcome so in spite of all that we go through the, the pain of the tribulation we can have peace in him number two is finding purpose in pain <laughs> you know while pain may be unavoidable inevitable it doesn't have to be meaningless in fact many spiritual traditions teach that pain can be a catalyst for growth and transformation it can be a catalyst for growth and transformation it can speed up your growth and your transformation it's it is it is through our struggles that we often discover our, our deeper strength and develop empathy for others I don't know about you but anytime you go through pain you have to understand that there's a purpose in there for you but you know most of the time what we do is we don't really look at what is in there for me what are the teachable moments for me as I go through the the, the pain as I go through the struggles as I go through uh, um, uh, the, the the tribulation what is the teachable moments in there for me what can I learn from it what is the purpose of this pain how is it helping me to grow how is it helping me to uh, develop how is it helping me to advance <laughs> and there's a scripture I want us to look at and um, in Romans chapter 5 in Romans 5 and from verse 3 to verse 5 which says that and not only that but we also glory in tribulation tribulations knowing that tribulations produces perseverance other versions says that produces patience and perseverance character and character hope so as you go through tribulations it produces patience it produces perseverance it produces character and character and hope now hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out in our hearts by the holy spirit who was given to us you know so the in in this context the apostle paul reminds us in his letter to the romans that suffering produces perseverance suffering produces character suffering produces hope our pain my pain your pain has the power to shape us into a more resilient compassionate individual if we allow it to the sad aspect is most of the time we don't allow what we go through to shape us to be resilient to be compassionate individuals but rather um, sometimes <laughs> uh, 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 we get so bitter about what we're going through and we don't allow ourselves to learn from it to get those teachable moments from it And number three is embracing the journey. You know, I said from the beginning that pain is inevitable, it is unavoidable, whether we like it or not. 
you go through all kinds of pain and it doesn't matter it is it is an equal opportunity search an equal opportunity employer the big goes through the tall goes through the short goes through the rich goes through the in between the poor everybody goes through some form of pain one way or the other so how do we learn to embrace the pain or rather than resisting it and i said earlier sometimes we want to suppress it sometimes we want to avoid it <laughs> But, but it has a way of shaping us into being resilient, into being compassionate individuals. It, it, in, 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 it, it begins with, with a shift in perspective. It begins with a shift in perspective. You know, I would say that instead of viewing pain as something to avoid, and um, at all costs and to choose to see it as an integral part of our journey towards wholeness. James says it very well in James chapter one and from verse two to four. And, and I, I, I want to read this from the New International Version. The NIV, which says that consider it pure joy, <laughs> my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials and may, of many kinds, how do you consider it all joy when you're going through tribulation, when you're going through that pain, when you're going through rejection? I mean, just think about it. But James is admonishing us that consider it pure joy when you whenever you face trials and of many kinds the verse 3 says that because you know that the testing of your faith your faith will be tested ladies and gentlemen he says the testing of your faith produces perseverance other verses says that it produces patience let patience or let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything one of the things that I always say is anything ready for the market will have to go through the process. Nobody goes to the grocery store to buy a half-baked bread. <laughs> it has to go through the oven. It has to be fully baked to be ready for the market. It is the same way when God is going to use you. There are certain things that he's going to take you through. And that is part of the, your faith being tested. And it takes perseverance. It takes, um, uh, 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 it takes perseverance for you to go through the process fully. Nobody gets in an airplane and during turbulence, they, they take a parachute and bail out. <laughs> they, they go through it. I mean, the bumpy rides. <laughs> I tell people that one of the things that I get excited is anytime I fly, I enjoy the bumpy ride. I enjoy turbulence. <laughs> Somebody looked at me and said, hey, you are crazy. <laughs> well, that is, that is mine. Right, so with patience will have to take you through the process and you have to endure it. So it's considered pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whatever you face, trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces patience. So James, in this context, is encouraging us to consider it pure joy when we face trials, when we face tribulations, when we go through pain, knowing that we have the potential to refine our faith and make us more complete. You know, rather than seeing pain as a hindrance um, as an obstruction as um, an enemy let me put it away you and i can approach it with an attitude of gratitude for that opportunity to present itself for good you know the scriptures tells us that in everything we should give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for uh, concerning us. And again, the scripture tells us that for everything, we should give thanks always. So in the midst of it and for it, 
including pain and the good, the bad, and the ugly, the in between, no matter what it is. We don't only have to give thanks when things are going in the right direction, no matter what you face. We can have an attitude of gratitude, including your pain, my pain, your tribulation, my tribulation. And it's an opportunity it presents for good. You know, one of the things that I worry about lately is how do we grow and mature in the things of God? And all these things come in to shape us. You know, sometimes we want to avoid it. <laughs> it's unavoidable. So what do you do when you get into it? Find those moments, those teachable moments. What is in there for me? Sometimes we ask, why me? Why not you? Because I believe that if God wants to use you, he will take you through the process, prepare you for what he has already prepared for you. And it is part of going through the process. So again, thank you so much for joining me on this day. And um, I'll be right back. Right again, thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank you. Um, I see Hilda Sanchez. Hey, it's been a while. I hope you're doing amazingly well with, and great with the family. My regards to everyone. Davida, thank you for uh, joining, as well as everybody else who's on here. And thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in and for signing into it. Uh, let me do this real quick before I sign off. Um, this is one of the things that I want to do. Um, let me introduce my spiritual father. Um, every Tuesday from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, tune in to um, Facebook and YouTube as we join my spiritual father, Dr. Franco Posopia, on the Ambassador of Hope. Um, on YouTube, on YouTube is Franco Fosopia official, and Facebook is the Ambassador of Hope page. Um, if you haven't subscribed to his page, please do so, and and don't forget to click on the notification bell. You know he has all the videos and everything on there for you and I to go back, listen to it, share, comment. You know, if it is worth listening to, it is worth sharing. And these are amazing, amazing topics that he breaks our way here. It is not another church. It is not. <laughs> but it is It is something that you and I can, it, it will help shape your life. It is, um, um, what do you call it? it? It is destiny shaping messages. I mean, it's, it's epic. Let me put it that way. Um, just just go in there and listen to it and you will testify you will you will attest to it and once you listen to it don't keep it to yourself please share with with others uh we want to get to the place where information is shared you know, we don't want to conceal any information there's most especially messages like this that will help you grow that will help you mature all right so um this is the youtube page please go in there um Two weeks ago, he talked on no means no. I was one of those people that could hardly or barely say no <laughs> until I came into contact with Dr. Frank. In fact, it was one of the um, Ion Shopping, um, Ion Leadership Conferences. He taught us how to say no. And from that time, I can say no with, without um, feeling remorseful, without feeling bad that I said no to somebody. No, no, it's a complete sentence. So go in there and listen to it, watch it, share, comment. And um, I want you to 
save the date for ISI 2024. This is the, the 20th anniversary for ISI Ion Shopping's Ion this uh, uh, leadership conference. And this year, 2024, ISI 2024, we are celebrating 20 years of excellence in leadership development. It is not only for church folks, it's for everyone. So um, save the dates, make the necessary arrangements, um, the reservations and all that, so you can be there. Join us for a milestone event filled with knowledge, connection, and celebration. Let's get ready to be part of history in the making. 20 years, 20 years of excellence in leadership development. 20 years. Can you believe that? <laughs> All right. So once again, thank you so much for allowing me to come your way. I'm your host, David Jill. As we journey through life, we will be, uh, we will inevitably encounter pain and suffering along the way. But we don't have to let it define us. You don't have to allow your pain to define you for you to turn into a house of pain. <laughs> no, don't let pain define you. You know, by embracing our pain or finding purpose in our struggles and, and trusting in, um, in God, we can navigate life's inevitable trials with courage and resilience. At the end of the day, it is your courage and your resilience to go through it, which makes you who you are. So again, thank you for joining me in today's episode. Remember that you are not alone in your pain. And there's always hope for a brighter tomorrow. There's always hope for a brighter tomorrow. God willing, next Monday, I'll be coming your way with a topic. Um, stop the blame game. <laughs> stop the blame game. So again, thank you for joining me in this uh, episode and through this journey. And until next time, remember that you are stronger than you know. And you are never alone in your struggles. Have a wonderful, amazing, fruitful, and productive week. And just to let you know, I love you. There's nothing you can do. I've been your host, David Jerry. Goodbye.